shall appear in glory and power, and the nation shall mourn with the sight of his coming. Are you ready for the return of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords? As the armies of darkness march towards global domination, many slumber as we approach the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us awake and announce his kingdom. Trumpet in Zion, sound an alarm on my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is coming. It is near. You are listening to Radio Redemption. And power! And power! Power! For the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. 1 Corinthians 4.20 Hallelujah, praise the Lord, glory be to his name, glory be to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You're listening to Radio Redemption and Power. We are a South Florida radio program that preaches the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. And tonight we continue on our study in the book of First John chapter 3. Uh, last week we kicked off uh, the study in chapter 3, and um, it's been a wonderful study. It's amazing how um, you could spend so much time on one or two verses, because the Word of God is certainly deep. And this is what this program is about, is about getting the Word of God out there. It is about nourishing the people of God. Uh, it's about lifting up the Lord Jesus Christ. So um, when you listen to Radio Redemption and Power, you're tuning in to be fed. Praise the Lord. And um, if you haven't been in tune to this um series that we've been doing in the book of First John, uh, we invite you to visit our webpage, redemptionandpower.com, uh, where we also have access to a live radio where you can listen to a uh, live feed. Uh, you also have access to all of our podcasts uh, that you can listen to on demand, or you can download the app to your iPhone or to your Android. Uh, it's absolutely free, and you can listen to Radio Redemption and Power on the go at your convenience. You could also subscribe uh, via iTunes uh, to get our episode downloaded freshly every week. Or you can also visit our Facebook page where we weekly post up our podcast uh, as well as on Twitter. And if you have any prayer requests, uh, questions or concerns, it's always a blessing to hear from our listeners. Uh, you can write to us at redemptionandpower at gmail.com, or you can drop us a line on the, on the webpage, or you can write to us on Facebook or Twitter. You can also contact us at 305-320-7727. Brother Lewis, would you kindly lead us in prayer tonight? Amen. Father God, tonight we lift you up 
and would glorify your name, Lord. Father, we ask you tonight that you give us utterance to be able to preach your precious word, Father. We pray that it is not our words, but your words that are declared tonight in this place. And Father, we pray that your word may change your people for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Once again, you're listening to Radio Redemption and Power. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Uh, tonight we continue our study in the book of 1 John. In case this is your first time listening to Radio Redemption and Power or and joining us in this study, we are going by verse by verse in the book of 1 John. And uh, our introduction in the book of 1 John is that um, the Apostle John is a very important and special apostle in the sense of the things he was able to see and experience and was able to write it down for us. The Apostle John that wrote the letter of 1st, 2nd, and 3rd John is the same Apostle that wrote the Gospel of John and who also wrote the book of Revelation. And we see that this Apostle John was able to experience things that other apostles were not able to experience. He was able to walk with Jesus. He was able to experience the ministry of Jesus. He was able to 
uh, be a witness to the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And he was also able to be a witness to Jesus Christ in his glorified state, uh, to see Jesus Christ on the throne, uh, Jesus Christ coming to establish his kingdom upon the earth. He was able to view and see all these things. So when we read the content of 1 John, we're able to see that it is a very pertinent book. It is a, a book that emphasizes on the victory that we have through Jesus Christ. And it is a book that is so important for these last days that we are living in. It is a very critical time in history. It's a very critical time for Christians. Uh, right now in the United States, we're experiencing a very pivotal time in the history of this nation. One of the most, one of the most important elections that we're experiencing and we're seeing that both candidates are not good people. So what do we do as Christians? Well, firstly, our hope is not in a man. Our hope is not in a system. Our hope is not in this world. Our hope is in Jesus Christ. Our hope is in God and the fulfillment of his word. Last week we started reading first John chapter 3 and we touched on the first two verses of this chapter and we saw that what one of the things that the apostle John begins to speak about in this chapter is about God's love on which all things are predicated on which all things are based with regards to the creation with regards to God's plan God's plan of redemption it is all begins with love. John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son so that all that believe should not perish but have everlasting life. And it all begins with love. And we have to, brothers and sisters, believe that God loves us. Because there will be a time where as Christians we will be hated, we will be ousted, we will be ostracized, we will be persecuted because we've chosen to put our faith upon Christ. And we, and, and those moments of suffering, in those moments of difficulty, we cannot forget the love of our Father. And that's what it all begins with. So I'm going to go ahead and start reading from verse 1, and uh, it's going to lead us up to um, verse 3, where we're going to continue tonight, which is where we um, actually start up our study. And the scripture says, in 1 John chapter 3, starting from verse 1, it says, Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And verse 3 it says, And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. Now we see that verse 3 is connected to the prior verses that we looked at last week. And John says, and every man that hath this hope, what is the hope that he's speaking about? He is speaking about the hope of one day being transformed into the image of Christ. The so one day not having to deal with sin, to one day not having to deal with sickness, with all the things that we encounter that we experience in our human bodies, that one day that will come to an end, that one day we will see Jesus 